Margaret, what do you expect to hear from the congressman? Well, Dr. Wenstrup uh, is leading this subcommittee that has a pretty wide portfolio, but in this first hearing they're holding into the origins of the virus that has killed millions, they seem to be focusing in on these new uh, developments uh, that buttress the theory that the virus was introduced into the public as a result of a lab leak in Wuhan, China. The Energy Department and the FBI have come to that conclusion. Other parts of the intelligence community don't agree. They say it's too murky, um, and many agencies uh, believe it likely jumped animal to animal to human. The, those details are also murky. We'll get to why this is important for the public to know, what information um, can be shared with the public at this time. And Dr. Robert Redfield, the former CDC director from the Trump administration, is one of the key witnesses who will be answering questions. We want to talk to the congressman about exactly what his intention is here. All right. Also today, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz visits Washington. He speaks with President Biden. Support for Ukraine, no doubt, one topic. Do they see eye to eye on this, Margaret? And what else was on their agenda? Well, on that broad uh, idea of just supporting Ukraine and opposing Russia, yes, they do agree. It's in the details that this gets kind of messy uh, for the two uh, Western allies here. Um, in this working meeting, as it was described, the Chancellor of Germany, who leads one of the most important members of the Western alliance uh, and most economically important, certainly, um, they were talking through uh, the direction of the war and continuing to pledge help. But exactly what that means, uh, the pace of weapons, and that bigger question of whether China will deliver weapons to Russia to help prolong this conflict? And what will the West do then, since China and the West are so economically entangled? Uh, this conflict isn't ending anytime soon, based on what the CIA director shared with us on last week's program. Um, so we will continue to follow these stories. Well, thank you, Margaret. Always look forward to your show. And be sure to join Margaret for Face the Nation. That's Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. right here on CBS4. And then stay with us, because right after that, facing South Florida with our own Jim DeFeedy, that starts at 1130 a.m.